Good evening, I'm Scott Hennessy in for Beth and CJ tonight. A study is underway to help us understand more about the sundowner winds, which are unique to our area. News Channel reporter John Palmentary has been with UC Santa Barbara researchers and John, they're using sophisticated equipment on the ground and in the sky. Sundowner winds are hot and dry and they can change our current weather conditions very quickly. They're especially a concern when we have a wildfire taking place. Now, these winds are tight and powerful. They're a more micro version of the broader Santa Ana winds you hear about in Southern California, but they target our area very specifically. The most terrorizing winds Santa Barbara County uniquely gets are the sundowners. They can be devastating, especially when a fire breaks out. Pushed by a high pressure system over the coastal mountain range, they roar towards the ocean, oftentimes through heavily populated areas. A UC Santa Barbara technical research project on these winds is now underway. It was originally designed in 2018 by the geography department and funded in part by special grants, including the National Science Foundation. The whole experiment has been planning for four years, right? Um, but because of COVID, we delayed for uh, two years. Yeah. Sundowners can have speeds in excess of 60 miles an hour, enough to bring down trees, power lines, and toss patio furniture down the street. Now is the main time for the research where sundowners occur between Gaviota and Montecito. And the peak season for sundowners is spring. So we're going to try to get a few events between April 1st and May 15th. When sundowner winds are forecasted, researchers are trying to determine just what areas are the most vulnerable and just how fast those winds will kick up from the mountains and canyons down to the oceans. The project has multiple sites at once gathering the information. I'm calling to inform you that we're going to go ahead and have some balloons launching off in a minute, some weather balloons at the headquarters, Santa Barbara Fire Department headquarters, Cedric, Gaviota, and Rancho Alegre. One, two, three, now. Using special helium-filled balloons with a weather information transmitter attached, researchers can see what's happening at different elevations during the sundowner event. It's yeah. collecting information about the temperature and the winds and the, and the humidity as it moves up. There are also multiple sites with towers gathering information on a variety of weather components, including geographical pressures, ground and air radiation, and other factors that could affect the wind flow. So the main goal is to improve the forecast and increase uh, resilience to wildfires, especially. So there's a lot of sophisticated equipment in use right now in multiple locations to get a read on all of this. The partners in this project include not just UC Santa Barbara, but the National Weather Service and the Santa Barbara County Fire Department. They'll be launching in this phase these weather balloons throughout the night tonight and finish up tomorrow morning at 7 a.m.